بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله In this video we will learn how to make fractions easy to understand for the purpose of this course In this example think when you were with your friends and you ordered a pizza So of course this is a halal cheese pizza that we are talking about Now you have a bunch of friends with you and they want different portions from the pizza One of your friend wants half pizza What would you do? It's simple, we make one cut in the pizza. Well, another friend needs one fourth of the pizza and we make another cut. Now the one with who needed half will get two pieces and one who needed one fourth will get one piece. And you have another health conscious friends who just wants one eighth of a piece. To make that happen, you make another two cuts in the pizza and now you have eight pieces. The one who wanted one by two of the pizza will get four pieces. The one who needed one fourth will get two pieces and the one eighth person will get one piece. Things are looking good, right? Well, you have another three friends show up and one of them wants one third of a pizza, another one sixth, another one wants two third. What do you do now? You have already cut the pizza in pieces that it could not be divided into a third, a sixth or another third. Fortunately one of your friends is a mathematician. You know there's always one of those types. Well he suggests that we need to calculate the lowest common multiple of all the denominators. In simple words, of all the numbers that are in the lower part of the fraction, the denominator part, we need to look at them and see which number comes in the multiplication tables for all those numbers and is common in all of them. So in this case we are looking at 2, 4, 8, 3, 6. And if you look at their multiplication tables, the number 24 is a common number that is seen in all of them. That's the lowest common multiple. In this case it would be 24. So now cut the pizza in 24 equal pieces and it is easy to divide in all these fractions. This is how it will work. The one who needed one eighth pizza will now get three pieces out of 24. The one who needed one fourth pizza will get four pieces. The one who needed one fourth pizza will get six pieces. The one who needed one third pizza will get eight pieces. And half pizza will be 12 pieces. The one who needs two third of the pizza will get 16 pieces. And here are their subsequent percentages in the bottom. This way, by using the lowest common multiple, we can easily divide the pizza in the pieces that can be split into these fractions. The reason I mention these certain fractions of 1 8th, 1 6th, 1 4th, 1 3rd, 1 half, and 2 3rd is because these are the exact fractions that are used in the Quran. And these are the shares of the Zawil Furuz. These are mentioned in your inheritance tables that we will be consulting. But for those who find it difficult to use fractions, we can use 24 as the common denominator and still use these fractions and get the same answers of distribution. In this course, I will use the actual fraction numbers and with each case we will find the LCM, the lowest common multiple and solve the question. But again, for those who find it difficult, you can use the table column that is giving you the shares out of 24 and still get the same answers and skip the step of calculating the lowest common multiple. Okay, coming back to the pizza now. Let's take some examples. We have a pizza that needs to be split into a half and an eighth. What's the lowest common multiple of 2 and 8? In this case, it would be 8. So 8 is a number that comes in the table of 2 and also comes in the table of 8. Now we divide the pizza into 8 pieces and it's easy to calculate these ratios. The half pizza will be 4 pieces and 1 eighth pizza will be 1 piece. In the next example, we want to split the pizza into a half and a third. Let's see what's the lowest common multiple of 2 and 3. It is 6. And now the one who needed half pizza will get three pieces and the one who needed one third pizza will get two pieces. Next case, we need to split the pizza into a fourth and a sixth. The lowest common multiple here would be 12. The one fourth person will get 
three pieces and one sixth person will get two pieces. Most of us studied lowest common multiple calculation in our schools, but that might be many years ago now. This table can help you identify the lowest common multiple for the fractions that we will deal in inheritance. The top row is the denominators that we are dealing in the case. On the red column are the multipliers and in between we will see which number is common in the denominator table that we are looking at. For example, if we are dealing with a denominator of 3 and 8, we can look through the list and see that 24 is the common number in the table of 3 and in table of 8. So we split the property into 24 pieces and the one who was supposed to get 1 eighth will get 3 parts as seen in the multiplier red column and the one who was getting 1 third will get 8 parts as seen in the multiplier column. Let's do some more examples with the pizza. In this case we need to split it into 1 eighth and 2 third. Again looking at the denominators of 8 and 3, the lowest common multiple will be 24. We split the pizza into 24 pieces and then find out how many pieces will each person get. The 1 eighth one will get 3 pieces and the 2 third one will get 16 pieces. In the last example we have 3 fractions, 1 half, 1 fourth and 1 sixth. What will be the lowest common multiple of these 3 denominators? It will be 12. So 1 half will become 6 out of 12, 1 fourth will become 3 out of 12 and 1 sixth will become 2 out of 12. I hope this helps you understand the fractions and make it easy for you. Again, if you find it difficult, just use the column in your, in your tables which already presents the fractions into 24 parts. And we can use that and still get the same answer as the other group. You can also look at some online sources on YouTube or Khan Academy and see how to get better at calculating LCM, which is the lowest common multiple. This is the highest level of math you need for this course and to do the calculations of inheritance as designed in this course. You may need to keep a calculator with you to just to confirm your mental calculations, but even without that you'll be fine. At this point in time, we are ready to jump into calculations and solving questions. You have done some hard work and gained some knowledge if you have reached to this part of the video. Order yourself a pizza and enjoy this virtual treat on my behalf. Eating pizza would not be as hard as splitting it into the right shares.